Hi guys, welcome to the Wilderness Channel. I'm going to show you a few knots that are related and that ultimately lead to a more complicated knot that is used uh, to tie onto, onto a bottle so you can actually carry the bottle. It's called the jar sling or the bottle sling. Um, but let's start off with the, the most basic part. Um, the first knot I'm going to show you is, is called a uh, crow's foot. It's kind of a hitch. And um, there are two ways of tying it. The first way is to make a bite and then pass the bite over an object that you're going to tie on and then pass the two loose end strands through the bite and, and then just pull tight. So it's a very, very simple way to attach a rope um, doubled to an object. Okay, So that's the crow's foot. That's one way of tying it. And the other way to tie it onto a bottle using the same technique is, of course, to pass the bite through and then the two strands, and you get the same effect. Okay, and of course, it's a very good technique for tying a bottle to a pack or something like that. Okay, now um, the other way of tying this knot is to make loops. So you start off with a loop like that and then you turn another loop inwards like that so that you have two strands going behind this bottom strand okay and then you just twist them around like that and you have the crow's foot so once again you have the two strands behind each other like that let's see sorry about that so you have the two strands there and you just pass an object through the two loops and there you have the crow's foot okay now there's a very similar knot um, to the crow's foot which is called a clove hitch it's formed in a very similar fashion but it is different and has a similar similar purpose so what you do is you make a first loop but then you make another loop in the opposite direction and you pass the loops behind each other like that so you have the two loops like that and you pass the object through and then you pull each end okay and when you pull at each end like that, you end up having a very, very tight hitch, which works on friction, which you can use to tie beams together, poles. Um, it's basically for lashing poles together. Um, it's a good, good um, not to know for, for making a raft. Okay. So those are the two knots, and they're very similar. Okay. I just wanted to show you the similarities between them, and they both are quite useful in their, in their own way. And um, the reason why I'm showing those knots is because the crow's foot actually leads into a third knot which is more complicated and which is used to actually to tie to jars or bottles and it's called the jar or bottle sling. So you start off by making the loop like that and you follow it by making the other loop. Okay. Now you pass the two loops over each other like that. Then you take the base where my thumb is, and you pass that. You take that base piece, you pass it through the left-hand loop, over the top of the right-hand loop. I mean, of the middle, and through towards the right-hand loop. Okay. Then you pull the right-hand loop down, like that, and then you open up the space in the middle, and that's essentially the knot. Okay. That's now going to be passed over the top of a bottle. Let's just use a smaller bottle. Okay, it usually helps to have a little bit of a lip. Um, this is a little bit of a slippery bottle, so it may not work as well. But then you just, once you pass it over, you pull the ends tight. And then you have basically the jar sling. Um, this end you can tie with a reef knot or even a granny knot and um, okay that's a bit of a granny knot let's try that again and there's a reef knot okay and then you have a nice little sling to hold your your bottle called the jar sling and that's pretty much it it's quite a sturdy knot and um, you can literally swing the jar around. I'm not going to be doing that, but um, obviously it helps to have a, a good lip here. 
and also not too little friction because um, otherwise it can possibly slip off but that's the jar sling or bottle sling uh, see you guys next on our, on our next video thank you